Welcome to the MS Manager Plus review. Today we will see what is included in this new version. Basically, the difference between the old EMS and the EMS Plus is that the EMS Plus doesn't require an external PC. But instead, this new version runs inside the gateway, providing direct administration and automatic IMEI generation from one single interface. Why use EMS Plus? In this case, that your company wants to maximize the use of cellular operator's plan, it can easily concentrate all the SIM cards from the cellular operator's plan inside the GSM gateway, keeping the same IMAI from the original phones. It is important to understand what IMAI is. IMEI is a short for International Mobile Equipment Identity and it is a unique number given to every single mobile phone. The IMEI consists of 15 digits of numbers that look like this. The first set of numbers is the type approval code known as TAC. The rest of the digits contains other information such as country code final assembly manufacturer code and more. When accessing the EMS Plus, the first thing we will check is the license. We can check the license at Configure Folder HyperGuard License. License must be activated in order to use the EMS Plus. Now to configure the program, click on EMS Plus. Inside the HyperGuard folder and the EMS Manager window will appear. This window will show a description of the system, the cards, models, SIM cards, and IMEI corresponding to each GSM model. Here is the place where the IMEI numbers will appear after being introduced or generated. The current IMEI in use will appear at the top part of each GSM model and also will be marked by the green check icon. Every time that a SIM rotation will occur, the green check icon will change position indicating the current IMEI in use by the GSM model. Basically, there are three ways to configure the IMEI generation. Those are manually, semi-automatic and automatic. So first you can enter the IMEI manually direct on each GSM model. It means that you will enter one IMEI per SIM. Once entered, you will save the changes. The second semi-automatic way is to enter the downloaded CSV file by clicking on its port CSV list icon. Once downloaded, you can copy-paste the IMEI from the IMEI software generator. Then just save it and import from the CSV file import icon. Then automatically all IMEI from the CSV file will be uploaded to the EMS Plus. Now the third way is adding a prefix at the tag number. So let's go to prefix and then add the prefix. You will enter the prefix tag number and assign a name. Then just save it and then our tag number introduced and name will be saved. Then go to the setup icon. Here just click on enable auto IMEI box. That will enable an automatic allocation of IMEI to each GSM module every time that a SIM rotation is executed. The lock level is for the use of IPermedia supports only. Then just save it. As we can see, the first 8 digits are our tag number introduced and the rest of the numbers will be generated automatically. Well, until now we have learned how to configure the EMS Plus IMA generation. But how the SIM rotation will occur? The SIM rotation is executed by the SIM Auto Manage feature, which is located in Configure Cellular Cars SIM Auto Manage. This feature will be the one in charge to make the rotation between the SIM cards based on the number of minutes or by the numbers of calls. Thank you for watching us. 
And for more information, you can visit us at www.hypermess.com.